and welcome back to Gator Snapper playthrough of Tales of Berseria, where today's objective is to escort some prissy little sissy man in his little fucking druid cloak uh, and his little friendly bird friend uh, off to the beautiful resort location, Titania, prison island full of despair, but still, it's a tourist trap. People love going there regardless, so yeah. Uh, other than that, mm, other side objectives. Oh yeah, we gotta get the comedy routine going on. So that's all set up, that's ready to get moving for uh, whenever that, I don't know, whenever we actually find somewhere where we can set up a comedy routine. Also, hello treasure chests. Ooh, money, my favorite thing to find just randomly laying on the streets. I should be arrested for that, I feel like, if I'm just taking money that I'm finding laying around, but eh, whatever, I'm fucking easy either way. Uh, so yeah, anyways, I guess we gotta go run off to our boat. Then, I don't know, probably get fucking clotheslined by a bunch of different fucking cutscenes. Actually, oh, I forgot, this doesn't fucking lead right to the, uh, doesn't lead right to the fucking boat. I was like, cool, I just have to go to the port and get out of here. No, I gotta fucking do this shit first. Oh, well, not so bad. Man, I'm super upset because used to be recording so easy in here because really all I had to worry about was just, like... I guess noises for, like, that's really the only thing I ever had to worry about. Yeah, just, like, noises going around. But now, those noises are still a problem. Just, like, general stuff from animals to people to whatever. But now, it's no longer fucking winter anymore. I mean, technically it still is, because it's, like, February, but... Uh, it's so fucking warm right now, which... I know it's Texas and everything, but... God damn it, when I was a kid, February meant it was cold, and that that does not seem to be the case anymore. It makes me rather sad, but here we are now in our, like, 70 degree weather. Maybe warmer than that. I don't honestly know what, what, what like, temperatures feel like. But all I know is it's too warm here, and I can't have my fucking fans running because it's too noisy for the recording. Even though I'm perfectly okay with letting dogs make noises or fucking roosters in the background crowing. I mean, fuck. At this point, maybe I should just be okay with letting the fucking fans be on, because, ah, oh, it's so fucking warm. That and, like, the computer itself is pretty loud. Like, it's audible right now, except that's been going on for so long, it's just background noise. Also, hello, sir. I'm now curious about dialogues I can find. Yay! That is exactly what I was hoping for. Who, which one is she partnering up with first, I wonder? Yeah. Oh, oh. hello. Hello, promoter. Uh-huh. Aw. Why? You're not... That is not the voice I expected from you, I have to say. Oh. Oh. Wow, this, this fucking happened. Fucking hell, we ran here quick, didn't we? Sounds like we're gonna be kind of fucked. I hope this all ends with, like, us be having a successful comedy routine. Oh, no. Oh, no, that was getting thrown into the shit immediately. Aw. Oh. Yeah. Alright. Oh yeah, that'll be great. Some some guys get off on that. They'll pay good money for that. Oh no. <laughs> oh velvet. We're not even in the place. Okay, here we go. We're we're just getting thrown into this. I'm so glad I, I ran into this. Hello, this is an empty house. This is just sad. Oh, but they're clapping. Hello. Oh. Is that how you say it if they're female? Oh, hello. I love Magic Kazam indeed. I'm just sitting here in the audience like, oh, this is gonna be a great show. I love them because we're not wearing any clothes. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh. oh no. No, Velvet. She's all stage frighted. Hmm. That ain't gonna happen. I'm sorry, Moggy Lou. You didn't plan this out. Ah, oh, she's not even actually blushing though. It's just a backdrop. Wow. The show must go on. She's trying her best. Trying her very best. Now slap her. Well, oh, this is this would be this would be one of those things I wouldn't be able to watch. Like if I was in the audience, I'd just have to stand up and leave. Like this is this is embarrassing. I'm so sorry. Those poor people. All right, time to leave the show. <laughs> Why would Velvet have stage fright? I like it though. It's it's that uh, it's that thing in anime that's called gap moe. Where something's like so different from a character's uh, character, I guess, that it's it's a it's kind of cute, I guess. Except you know, ah, uh, poor guy. Except you know, saying that is just a good way to get hit. She's not a comedian. You just roped her into this, yeah. Oh, oh no. If anything, I was just gonna kill everybody in this place. 
Oh no! Oh, they broke up. The touring du comedy duo was great while it lasted. Uh, I mean, they can't really be upset. They've they've already had to deal with the worst things that night. Oh yeah. Yeah, it was great. I'm sure people pay lots of money for that. Hmm. Ah, oh, Mogula, you're just trying to turn it all into into a benefit. Oh no. Ah. Uh, yeah, well, that was sad. Oh, shit, Dude, that was sudden. Oh, this again. Well, yeah, that's he's an asshole. There's malevolence in the air. It's Camel on his fault. I mean, can't we're leaving at this point, anyways? We could we could easily just kill the dude, right? We are we are basically bad people. Whoa, what was that? You got hit by the fucking halo ray. It's killing all life. Oh, it even hit uh, Shrivel. What's his name again? Uh, guy with bird. And how did none of them? How are none of them affected by it? Benwick, that's your name. Hello, friend. Yeah. And I suddenly filled with the urge for peace and compromise. I, I don't believe it. Uh huh. Wow. Wow. You know what? If it's gonna work for us like this, maybe it is better that Artorius do does what he does. Uh huh. Yeah. I mean, it would be fine if he didn't sound like a fucking robot while doing it. Are you sure? Yeah. Why not? Oh, wait. Damn it. Benwick, you ruined our odds. We could have gotten out for free. You're saying you're a cool dude. That's what. Yeah? No. Okay. You felt that too, didn't you, Yeah, everyone felt it. It's just weird that not everyone was affected by it. Like, specifically, no one in the party was affected. Oh, what could be to the north, I wonder? Oh. Oh, that's that's right. That's a thing. That was in Zestiria. There is some reason for doing it. I don't remember though. Yeah. So in no Minas domain is popping off, I guess. Yeah, they they were doing some dirty things. Oh, little Artorius is t uh, doing dirty talk to Nominat. We should get far away from here and quickly. Yeah, and probably never come back. But I mean, I probably still have that option too. You coming with us, person that has to be escorted? Oh. Oh, you know what it is. It's probably why you're leaving. You don't want to be some mindless drone. You're a smart person. And a cutscene. Barely a quarter of the way out. What's up? Oh, we're dealing with Mr. Druid here. Hello. Oh, Mr. You know what? Monk was a better... Well, Monk was a better uh, choice for his outfit, I guess. Yeah. You're right. Oh. Nice voice, dude. Nice voice. So suave. Hey, you know who he is, because you're an S. S. Percival. Percival, that's his name? Okay. Okay, keep the fancy names to a low, please. Uh huh. So he's next in line, is he? I is. Ooh, wow. Good fucking bargaining chip we got here. We can ransom him. Oh, of course. Wow, that's so. That's so convenient and specific. Well, because it's a very good smell. Yeah, why not, asshole? <sighs> well, it's a long story, but it's a long boat ride, so why not? Oh, Mogilu. I'm sorry, I just, every time I see her doing something I, I find pleasurable, I'm like, aw. Uh-huh. Yeah, you're gonna be the fucking crew's sex object. You know what, I don't like that thought. It's it's pretty... Alright, well, he's, he's, sub he's submitted to it, so I guess it's okay. Yeah. That's a good trait to have. Uh-huh. Hmm. Well, good thing we have somebody to ex do the expository stuff for us. Uh-huh. Yeah, he's trying to manipulate you. But you didn't know it's fragrant wood. You didn't know only the royalty wears it. You lived in backwater fuck town, whatever it's called. Wow. Oh, poor Eleanor. Sure, why not? I mean, we're going to Titania. It's already been said, like, nobody knows. Uh-huh. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. Well, I'm not worried about it. Probably because he wants to get away. He wants to get away from that shithole with all the suppression stuff going on. Oh, wa watch out for that whale. We had to stop there real quick. Well, that's good to know. All right, another cutscene. Hit us up. Uh huh. 
Well, it seems like everything's okay. Oh, I forgot those weirdos were in our, our thing. Yeah, party. That was the word I forgot just then. Because everyone left. Because it's like took got taken over by bad boys, didn't it? Prince, what do you know? You probably know something. Let's scope out the inside. Okay, nobody asked the prince. I don't know, maybe he wouldn't know anything. It's probably just full of fucking monsters and whatever. Whatever you left behind, Velvet. Hello? Is, it, is everything okay in here? Oh, hello. Hey, see, it's not empty of exorcists. It's fine. Now, Velvet, uh, you slacked off on your job because you stopped working here, and now everyone's turned evil, presumably. Oh, headless knight. Well, we have one of those, don't we? We have a uh, Kurogane. He's like he's wearing armor that makes him like a knight, and he doesn't have a head. Yeah, there he is, <laughs> headless knight. We should ask Kurogane about this. The headless knight is what if Kurogane is like self-conscious about? It? That's not a knight or headless, but we can make it one or the other. We could either teach it chivalry or we could cut its head off. Personally, I'm in the mood for teaching it chivalry because that'd be fun. Yeah, we're doing this shit again. Let's ho let's pop into it. I guess this time, this episode, we're gonna have to get into a bunch of combat to make up for the complete lack of it in the last one. Oh, Moggy Lou. Yeah, e even fucking Velvet's like, no time for your fucking, uh, what, uh, what are those things called again? Not metaphors, puns. No time for puns. I wish everybody's move was just a fucking pun. Like, uh, what's her, Eleanor's Ice Edge attack can be like Ice Age, like, we're gonna see the movie, I, you know what, that doesn't work as a good pun, does it? I tried my best. Yeah. Of course, they're trash. They can't do shit. The Abbey is literally, like, I don't know, they're, they're not very good. Let's just get at that. It, besides, like, the, the Legates, the Praetors, and whatever Artorius count says, no good. Oh. Oh. Wait, why were they doing that? I missed the first part of that about why they would be doing that. Oh, I guess the... Oh, so the demons were just doing it on their own, I guess? Why is it called Venomization? I wonder if that's an actual name. No, apparently this was going on before the riot, I guess. Why would they be making a big demon? Damn it, it's always the first line of dialogue that's important that I miss. Yeah, we were going to make this our own uh, secret base. Yeah. The one that survived eating all the others? Yeah, I like Kurogane's thinking. Uh, sounds good. <laughs> yes, our strongest force is Big Hand and Lizard Fuck. I mean, his big hands are pretty useful. He could give the greatest high fives. I mean, Kamaana's probably stronger than both of them put together. Uh, uh, you do that, Eleanor. You know it's a pretty big place. A scream isn't really gonna be heard as easily as you might think. Just saying. Titles, what are you doing here? Why are you always here? Yeah, let's fuck with him. Eleanor, how are you gonna interact with this situation? Yeah, you're busy fucking infiltrating this goddamn hellhole. I don't even know why you're here. Yeah, ever again. You say that, but I only remember buying things from you. Yeah, are we doing good pap? Good pap? Good pap? Bad pap? Ah, uh, he's this poor fool. Oh, yeah, that is a little true, isn't it? Oh, is this how Eleanor is gonna fucking be mean on him? Ah, uh, Yeah, yeah, we're definitely the less fortunate. Oh, oh, Eleanor. You gave this poor man hope and then took it away. Uh huh. Uh huh. Well, just by ma miss miss saying uh, the time, uh, we're gonna have to deduct all your pay and take it for ourselves. Confiscate all of it. <laughs> all right. Glad this always happens. Always giving them a smile. Oh, Eleanor, you've kind of been taken advantage of. Oh well. How can there be so many of the same fucking item, but they have different stats? You know what, I actually don't, I don't want to figure out what the whole thing behind it is, it's too much trouble. Do I want to go down here? I don't really know what my objective here is, I guess we're just looking for the Headless Horse Dude. Yeah, defeat the Headless Knight, <laughs> search for Long Dao's Dust to make Omega Elixir, defeat the Code Red Demon. Damn, am I ignoring side quests, alright, not the worst thing. In this game, I don't mind it too much. 
I mean, it's all excess anyways. The only thing I care about, obviously, is the comedy routine. The only side quest that really matters. So, onwards we go. Hello. <laughs> oh, it's a long story. But it's all Velvet's fault. Yeah, why don't you know anything? Oh, weird. Weird that the, the time stamps there are a little, uh... A little out of whack. Uh -huh. Mogilu, judging by the theory that I'm having that you're Magalonica, you've been here for a long ass time, haven't you? At least since you're like a kid or whatever. Everyone died. Uh, well, I mean, now it seems like they've, they've gotten away with it. Well, sometimes when a Therian leaves its hole, uh, everything turns evil, apparently, seeing how that shit happened to the village on that island. Which still doesn't make too much sense to me. Like, they were just so fucking angry at nothing, it seems. Maybe it's just because, like, their emotions were being suppressed by uh, Velvet's... Or not Velvet. Kamoana's Therian nomming on their malevolence that it just all popped out all of a sudden. Like, they weren't used to being angry and they just felt it. They're like, wait a minute, I'm mad. Oh! Also, what's a Kodoku? Venomization. I want to look up what venomization means, but I really don't think it... Eh, you know what, I have the time. Especially during this cutscene. Venomization definition. Oh man, I don't think it's a real word, judging by the results I'm getting. Uh -huh. Oh my god, I hate, I hate autocorrect on phones. Just accidentally lost all the progress of trying to carefully navigate how to spell venomization with my big fucking thumbs. The treatment of a substance with snake venom. Nope, not at all what I thought it was. Anyways, I haven't been paying attention to what you guys have been saying. What's up? Oh, you know what, Roker? You should do it. Yeah. Wow, he's... Yeah, of course he'd be pretty okay with it. I mean... Yeah. Does, do you have to eat the demons? You might have said that in the, like, five lines I missed, but... Uh -huh. They're demons, Eleanor. What are you trying to do? Make them not be demons, I guess. Fight, 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 fight. fight. Oh. Rip, you just said you wanted to. Oh. Oh. Okay. I guess, I guess. And why did you say you were going to do venomization? Oh, whatever. Oh, yeah. True enough. Yeah. Yeah, you know what, Roko, you're right. And, you, okay, Eleanor and Roker are now, I guess, shipped together. Although, I think that was already kind of apparent. Uh-huh, so we're going down. I think going down is the right idea. I think I need to find Velvet's old stomping grounds, and that's where that's where uh, shit picks up. I mean, I'm assuming that. I don't even know if there's a fucking right way to go, except that it's down, so... Hopefully, I just fucking randomly pick the right direction. If not, I'm gonna be a little annoyed. Just the we... Okay, well, there we go. We, f we found him. The Headless Knight. Let's, let's give it a crack. Hello. God, you look cool. And you don't have any fucking corporeal body. I love it. Uh-huh. Yeah. The, the, actually, Velvet, wouldn't you technically count as the, pro the end product of it? You were in your prison cell eating demons all the time, right? That sounds that sounds like you'd be the venomization leader. Oh, whatever. This is all the post Velvet stuff. So he's his own successful byproduct of it. He has a voice. What are you talking about? I don't hear shit. I guess I'm not cool enough to hear uh, monster voices. Damn, he does not have a chance to do anything. Except I th I'm starting to realize that I think this game accounted for the fact that like. Everyone could really easily, like, put the enemies in a knockback mode where they can't do shit. So I'm pretty sure they make it. That's, like, what the whole soul release or whatever it's called is. Because it knocks everyone back. Makes them immune to flinching, I think. I don't know. It's, I think they made sure to not make everything too easy. Even if I'm playing on easy mode for a reason. You know, I was saying in the last episode, it's kind of a shame that, like, I didn't get to do any of the fucking combat in episode. But... And again, what does it really matter? Even if I kept this stuff in, like, more of this stuff, rather, in an episode, it doesn't really serve much of a purpose. It's it's still the same thing of I'm talking over a game. And in terms of talking over this game, it's way less interesting because, like, just the combat in this game is not too much to really watch. And this game is still very much, have, like, specific to the dialogue. Like, that's the whole, that's the whole deal of it, so... 
I, you know what? I don't feel guilty anymore. I've been absolved of guilt. I've found my own my own peace in life. Ow, I'm getting stabbed. Jesus. I just realized those fucking creepy demon hands getting summoned from the ground are fucking Loppy Set. He's he's summoning some weird shit. Loppy Set, what what have you been doing? What have you been learning? I'm a little concerned, but also happy for you. Like a little bit of me is proud. Like you're 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 doing things. You're making it out in the world. Unless of course it's Moggy Lu casting. No, nope, that is what? No, I don't think it was. I think it was Moggy Lu casting it. Sorry, Lofted, I gave you too much credit. My bad. Go back to being a useless little twat that can only heal. Mm. Oh, hey, Velvet, it's your old home. You should go check it out. Oh. Oh. So oh. Well, that's the urge to pee, uh, Loppy set. Oh, how convenient. I sense it too. Wow, why do we even need Loffy set to point them out if fucking Aizen can... You know what, Aizen's probably just saying he can sense it, just like, uh, yeah, I can sense it too with my weeaboo powers. Ugh, I'm not a furry. I need to give him ears too if I ever get any. Uh, oh, pfft, I was like, what'd we find? Fucking give me the level up screen right before a cutscene. Just do the level up screen and then the cutscene. Because we're still doing the cutscene. The f oh, whatever, it's not a problem. That's my old home. Yeah. Yeah, and they threw you in here. Because you were the angriest. And also a Tetherian. Why is she the only Therian that doesn't ha that never really had like a full monster form? Ooh, or maybe she turns into one. Oh, I want to see that. I've only s I've never gone far enough to see if she does anything like that. Yeah. Velvet, quick, drop dr name drop. Name drop yourself. They would toss demons into uh -huh. Wow. It would devour its fill, then but, wipe the blood from its lips. You're saying something that's a little inaccurate because you ate demons with your hands, not with your mouth. Pretty sure. Unless you ate one of them with your mouth, I don't know. Like, do you actually fill your stomach with eating with your demon arm, or or is that just like a separate kind of hunger thing? Is malevolence good at, like, feeding the human body's needs? Hmm. That's, you're making it sound like you just killed uh, Saris, like, as soon as she, like, stepped out. Hello, that surprised me. Uh-huh. Yeah, good, good stuff. I haven't used your Therian mode in so long, I actually forgot you had a big-ass arm. What? Did no one fucking realize that from looking at her arm? Alright, whatever. I mean, I feel like Velvet knew, especially because Artorias told her she was a Therian. Yeah. I don't know, I'll be a little bothered if Velvet's like, only now do I realize I was a Therian. Yeah, but no one cares about this place. It's a prison full of assholes and exorcists. Assholes and assholes. Are you f are you still on that asshole side? Yeah, look at Velvet. She can't just be pissed off for nothing. Hmm. Well, well, when you say it like that... Okay, we're, we're in we're in shouting mode now, okay. Oh, oh, Eleanor, you. Uh-huh. Yeah, maybe not the best thing to say that. Yeah. Arguably, he doesn't feel either of those seeing that he's dead, but I don't think that's the same to tell. I don't think that's the thing to tell her. Well... Eleanor, I bet you feel dumb. You've had your beliefs shaken so much. How are you not turning into a demon at this point? Hmm. That's one less theory I wonder, do you have to be on an Earth Pulse point to like eat all the people's malevolence, or is Velvet's like place in their party kind of like chilling them out a wee bit? Oh, wow, that girl is so fucking loud. The fact that we could hear her all the way down here is amazing. Oh. Oh no, I guess it's just that Eleanor has a psychic link with Kamoana. Uh, you're just making up excuses because Velvet le yelled at you. Alright. No, let's ignore Eleanor. Let's let's think she's... Let's just all agree she's making shit up. We're all mad at you, Eleanor. Ooh, expedition. Ah. Uh. Hmm. <sighs> Thought we knew. Didn't Rokuro ask, tell everybody in the party about this too? Velvet called would called herself an uh, Therian, or is that just a Velvet Rokuro conversation? Hmm. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, they didn't know she was like sister-in-law to Artorias. 
ask her she yelled at me and it hurt my feelings. I don't want to talk to her ever again. He's a dickhole. I don't think Velma cares about tact. You were yelling pretty angrily earlier. Oh. Celica like celery. I don't know. That is pretty dumb. Yeah. You knew the most famous person in the world. He thought it was cool. I mean, it was cool. Yeah. Yeah, he's the most fucking lawful good person uh, in all the world. Yeah, that's fair. I think it worked out. Alright, let's do that. Am I picking up something that says Hawkroach? I, I keep just briefly seeing it, not long enough to actually tell, but I swear it said Hawkroach. Yeah, she's that. Is what changes people into demons. Uh huh. Strong enough malevolence. So, oh, that's cool. That's uh, that's neat. Didn't know that. So, is there a way she can eat malevolence? Oh, thank you for that explanation. Oh. but can she take the malevolence out of a living person? Yeah, that's like a fucking cleric, basically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like that saying. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to pen that one down. Yeah, that's that's the question. That's what I was wondering. Oh, okay. Oh, of course. Of course, Mr. Knowledgeable. Uh huh. Tell me more. Uh, okay. So no new. So that that explains one of my questions. And then when you remove it, it just is like a bottle cap exploding off of, of something. Hmm. That's right. To devour any malevolence, I need to cut it off at the source. So kill them. So convenient, but on the other side. Convenient for the, the writers of the story. Oh, never mind. Convenient for you, too. Of course. Why not? Why not? You get to keep the power of any malevolence you consume. Oh, so I lose power-ups? I lose power-ups if I go near an Earth Pulse point? I mean, not really. If that was an in-game mechanic, that'd be... I don't know. It'd be neat, in a sense, but it'd also be kind of annoying. Like, I stack up a bunch of good upgrades, and I just happen to walk by an Earth Pulse point I never knew about. I'm just like, God damn it. Lost all my powers again. All right, come on. What the fuck? Oh, oh. Yeah, sure was, with that weird fucking scream of hers. How are you doing? Oh, he's back, and on a horse this time. Alright. Well, at least in all the time it took to get here, nothing bad happened. That was a beautiful... Those are some beautiful jumps. Yeah, we're here. So that's the real Headless Knight? The full, like, venomized version? Alright. Okay, Eleanor. Uh huh. It also is missing its head, but not its lower jaw. Hmm. Good for it. Good for it is able to catch some of it. So what was the other one? Just a fucking... some random asshole? Oh, yeah. Explain. Uh... Uh-huh. I highly doubt that, but if, if it's true, I'll be impressed. Good good for you, Magi Lu. Yep, alright. Here comes a boss fight, I guess. We'll skip out most of this, too, I bet. Why does fucking Loppy Set keep asking how it's making sounds? And then fucking Aizen has the same reaction to it each time, just like, Go on, take a look, up close and personal. Loppy Set's gonna be stupid enough to actually listen to it, Aizen. Stop being a dick. We are doing very little damage to this boy, are we? Wow, this is gonna be a long fight. Alright, whoever's got their, their badass um, juices stored up, Please use this is this is taking a long time. And maybe whoever is using Voidmeyer stop using a dark move on a fucking dark enemy. And of course it's weak to martial arts. When is anything gonna be weak to an element? Like I feel like we haven't had anything that's weak to elements ever. It's it's either been martial arts, hidden arts, or or, or, or uh, Moloch arts or whatever it's called. Like I feel like in all the other tales of games, elements are pretty important. I feel like they sh still should be important. I guess, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it has something to do with how the, the combo combat system in this work game works. Like, uh, I don't know. I do like how there's actual, like, I guess hitbox? I don't quite know, exactly know if this is a hitbox, and I'm making sure to catch myself before I say anything stupid and wrong. 
but I'm going to go with the word hitbox because it's the only thing I have that un uh, I can use to understand the situation. Uh, I like how the hitboxes in this game works, where he can like swing his halberd, but it is like more on the right side of where he swings, except for maybe right there. I guess I was yeah, there you go. I was pretty far on his left side that time, on his left flank, so I wasn't as susceptible to getting hit by it. I like that. Other tales, I know in like tales of, of other games, uh, of the older games rather, because I think this series is the same as this one. Uh, it's basic, there's not really any dodging attacks by getting out of the way or being in like, being on one side to avoid getting hit. Because in this fight, I'm able to kind of just keep running off to his left side and he can't hit me because he's only got his, uh, he's only got his, uh, halberd thing on his right side. So yeah. I like that. Oh, there we go. He has a move that uh, gets into that little blind spot of his, so... It's not a complete solution, so that makes it okay. As long as something's not uh, completely exploitable, it's fair, right? I like that. Oh, whoa, what the... Oh, he's summoning people. That's a fucking pain in the ass. Alright, everyone take out the aggros, I guess. Is it aggro? No, mob enemies. Why did I say aggro? Oh, he's summoning more fucking people. You know what? Fuck it. I'm not dealing with the mob enemies. If he's just gonna keep summoning them like a little prick, you might as well just kill the dude. And one of them took my stamina. Hmm. Come here, you. Zero impact vest. Vest? Why is it called a zero impact? What the fuck? Is there another meaning for the word vest, or is it not just like a sleeveless shirt? Or jacket, rather. Hmm. Don't understand how you name your things, Velvet, but I'll go with it. There we go. Easy time. Rokuro, show him what for. You took his head clean off. Good job, buddy. Alright, well, that's that's that. Hey, we even got a memento for Kamoana. She'll love it. All. Yeah. Yeah, do you feel like you're the new top dog now? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I like how he wasn't all like, oh, I didn't mean to offend you, sir. Oh, oh, that's that's a bit of a problem. Okay, damn it, Kamwana. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, okay. I was like, what was that? It's our bird friend, bird. Yeah, he's here now, and he's nomming on that malevolence. Yeah, we we knew, we knew. Uh huh. Yeah. You are a very sad person, but you're a very cool fucking person, aren't you? You're like a fucking. You, you're like a you'd be a cool character that I'd want to play as where like you have your 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 summon as your combat damage person I don't know that's good how, since you were a kid how long do birds live I feel like eagles shouldn't have that long of a lifespan but whatever he doesn't even have like a fucking gauntlet on to fucking save his arms from all that hurdy fucking talent action uh -huh. That's very kind of you, you philanthropist of birds. He's gonna do whatever he likes. Yeah, he's a spoiled brat. I suppose I am at that. But at least he has a smooth voice. But if I am, it's the first time I've hmm. ever been allowed a choice of my own. Yeah, running away from home, just like a spoiled brat. Uh, he's a good person. No reason to be a shithead for on him. And I was like, fuck the people. They can deal with their own problems. Uh, no, you don't scratch it, because then the people would be upset. That's one way to scratch it back. Hmm. Oh, I see. It sounds like your tutor's just fucking insane. A fucking asshole. Seeing Griffin lay claim to the skies, uh -huh. let me Like, who the fuck would really do that besides someone that's, like, fucking imbalanced in their goddamn brain? Oh, you're itching in the middle of my studies? How dare you? I'm gonna beat the shit out of you now. That's someone with, like, a fucking power craze. Fucking psychopaths. Alright. But, I mean, royalty, right? That's, that's just how they do. Uh -huh. You do realize we don't like Artorius, right? I'm pretty sure you don't either. If there was one thing uh -huh. I could never permit, it was Explain how he turned your bird into a Therian, because I'm still confused about the thing of, like, he chose a bug to turn into a Therian. Just out, out of anything. Uh -huh. you, how did you disable the barrier? I thought those were supposed to be really hard to fucking take apart. Like, Velvet's only gotten rid of them because she's eating them from the outside. I don't fucking know. Yeah, some prince you are. Yeah. 
Oh, that too. Oh yeah, the capital's gonna fucking turn into a shitstorm. Oh, and maybe that's also why the people at Port Zexon were originally so, uh, at, like, douchey when we came there. Because he had already removed, uh, Griffin from the Earth Pulse point. Wow. What a fucking moron. <laughs> but it works for our benefit. Oh, here we go. Yeah, he asks everyone that question because he's a fucking weirdo. Oh, Luffy said that's the worst answer I've fucking heard. Fucking bringing actual facts into this. Yeah. There you go. That's an okay answer from a metaphorical standpoint. Okay. That'd be very loud in your ear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, you're trading one prison for a, a slightly larger one. That is literally a prison, so. Yeah. This way we'll have them on hand if we ever need that's, a That's true. Wouldn't they go looking? You know what? They're, they would go looking for the prince, but eh, they wouldn't just assume he's here, so. I'm nipping that stupid complaint in the bud. Yay, we have a hideout. Too bad you can't actually do anything cool with it. But we have one. Yay, we're leveling up. We're sorely missing out on that. Help demons stay in this place so I can always fucking level up on them. Uh, what's going on out here? Are we under siege? Are we about to die or something? Or is everyone just having a good old chat? Alright, good thing we got to see what those assholes were doing. And we're back in here. Yeah, okay, good. Probably away from you, you little weirdo. Hmm. No one plays with me. Oh. Probably because of you. Oh, I'm sorry, come on. Wow, you can't do it yourself? You're, you're not self-sufficient? Okay. If you're gonna cry about it. Yeah. Your crying is very loud and obnoxious, child. I'll go find your fucking playmate, you worthless child, you. Okay, who do I talk to to get information? Uh, this is for actual information relevant to what I'm doing right now, right? What do you say? Yeah. Nope. Oh, no. I thought you couldn't get drunk. Even... Did... Did... Did the armor just hiccup? Even he getting drunk? Is he... Why are they able to get drunk? Yeah, laws against that. Okay. We, we got a lot of bad shit going on for us. Uh-huh. <laughs> no! I love you, Rokura. You're my favorite. After Mogilu and someone else, I guess. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, we can finally hear your super interesting backstory with Shigure. I'm curious. Okay, Velvet, fine. No, Rooker's hitting on you, and Eleanor will be... You're 19? Oh, my God. Well, at least she's legal, everybody. Uh. Oh, God, they're nerding. Fucking nerds reading your books. Lonikli. Lonely Kyle, I'm sorry. If we're talking about Midris, there's one right here. Bam! Look at, look at that cute little stomach. How do you go from Lose Kyle to fucking Muse Mela? Well, they are nummy, so... God, a stupid fucking language of make your own meanings as you go. I hate you. <laughs> That's what's wrong. Can't you, like, censor through your, your bond? Oh, yeah. That's eh, fine. Ah, fuck, I missed another chance to see if it said Hawk Roach. Damn it. Alright, Aizen, how about you? I Aizen? You got any, any idea where idea? Eleanor is? Sorry. Uh, meeting with Benwick? You've sure been doing jack shit. At this point. You're never gonna it's find your captain. He's he's dead. Stir up the ice. You do that you. Yeah, that's me. I can stir everything up. I'm the main I'm character. Uh huh. You better hope so. Otherwise, you're gonna feel stupid for leaving him be for so long. Moggy Lou, you're the only one I truly ever want to talk to. You're gonna say something unhelpful, though. I'll admit that. Mm -hmm. What are you doing in here? You doing jack shit? Tell me, tell me exactly what you're doing. Ooh, that's a that's a good way. To, that's nice. Uh huh. You know what? I'm gonna have to use that in the future. If anyone's like, you're not doing anything, come on, help out. I'm like, no, sorry, I'm busy being unoccupied. You're saying that to Velvet? Okay, she's not. Th I wouldn't agree. Even though, if you are my favorite, Moggy Lou, I cannot. Uh huh. Which is to say, I'm unoccupied. Yep. Good deal. 
<laughs> oh, we're s I forgot the bet was all around. Did you make that with me or Ro Rokura? I don't know, whatever. Onwards we go. I think she's in the tower, if I remember correctly. I can't talk to anyone else about it, though, because no one else fucking knows. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, she is going towards the tower. Cool, thank God I talked to that asshole. So this is the watchtower, right? I mean, it's up. It means it's probably a tower. There is nobody in here. Better to be a fucking staircase. Okay, a ladder. Things are looking up. Haha, <laughs> literally. It is a hawk roach. I fucking knew it. I did read it correctly. All right. All of my, all of my fucking past regrets are now absolved. Hello, Eleanor. I spent a lot of time looking for you, lady. Uh, was that your side? You didn't even move your lips one tiny bit. Probably didn't even breathe to do that. What's up, girl? We're gonna have some 1v1 girl talk. We're gonna talk about all our problems. Ugh, I can't believe I'm a Therian working for Artorias, technically. I mean, technically. Even though I'm not really, like, a fan of his and I don't really work for him or get paid. Oh, what a dick. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. What happened to you taking care of Kamwana? Making me fucking do it. You terrible person. I'm gonna kick you off this tower. Yeah, see, demons are people too. To yeah, yeah, demons are people wretched too. The uh, okay, and still call us wretched. Uh, I like how she just can't get rid of her demon racism, even though if it's a little bit fair that her whole family died so to them. I, didn't know what demon blight really was. I mean, under your impression, you knew what demon blight was. It was just a disease that turned people into demons. Well, I guess, actually, no, she wouldn't know, like, any of the workings of it, so she didn't know what it was. I don't fucking know. Demon Blight is Demon Blight is basically all they would see. Oh, wow. Good for you. You've got your own thoughts. Hmm. You're a good person, Eleanor. You just... The only downside is you cry so much. Worse than Kamoana. And Kamoana is a very bad crying voice. You just cry all the time. That's your problem. Yeah. I think I'll stay here a little longer. Okay. Head off. Please tell <sighs> Do I run back and tell Kam Kamwana she's alright in this Don't episode? That this might put me a little bit too long. Eh, you know what? Fuck it. Let's run back to Kamwana and tell her what. Oh, I was about to say. You know what? Velvet's being Cinderi. She does care. Good job, Velvet. You're you're a good person. All right, I'll run back to Kamwana real fast. Probably get hit by like a 15 minute cutscene or regret doing that. No, okay, no, it, it didn't have to do it at all. It's just that was the end scene. Cool. Well, that means regardless, I'm getting hit by a cutscene. Yep, here we are. It's a misty day on Titania, this random shithole island in the middle of the ocean. Uh huh. How we do? Yeah, we're all just talking, having a good time. Kamwan is looking happy and cheerful. Ah, what a happy child. I have something to say. Oh. Okay. Hello. Are you? Oh, is she gonna admit? There's something I've been hiding. You are. It's okay. Everyone knew. <laughs> you stupid. Uh, we all knew. Uh, let's see. Maybe I was wrong thinking that all this time. Let's see what they have to say. Uh huh. I'm putting my my cheek in my hands. My cheeks, rather. I only have one cheek. The other is just a hole where you can see my fucking gums and teeth. Yeah, that's why we're gonna go on that walk around town, Laffy said. You naive fool. Uh -huh. I was going to get you to lower your guard, then take you in. Well, at least you're being honest about this. I no longer intend on following Whoa! The That's cool. You're turning your back on Artorias? This is all just a ploy. She's trying to get you all to lower your guard. I still believe in the sincerity of mm -hmm. Lord Artorias. Sounds a little paradoxical, but you go off, sister. Mm hmm I mean, eh, it would. Mm -hmm. I simply cannot bring myself to condone the methods he has But he's got the e- Oh, I see. He's got the easy path. But that's not the path the true exorcist walks. Eleanor, you're right. You're so good at your job. Wow. Eleanor, you're so cool. You're the real shepherd. You're the new shepherd. Alright, is everyone going to say we already knew you were a spy? Am I right in thinking all that? Maybe not. I'll feel dumb if I if I never thought. It just seemed like they all knew. Well, no, because Velvet... Oh. Because Velvet and Eisen had a moment where they saw that she she ran off or whatever. Or was doing some spy talk. I don't know. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, it's too late. You're now, you're now in our... You're now in our crew of being a terrible person. Yeah. 
Welcome to the true adult. club, though. Yeah, after all, she's my best Yeah, if she lied all the time, Lafayette said it would be a goddamn dragon or whatever Malakim turned into. Yes, yes. I think they only turn into dragons, I don't know. The super demons. Alright, well, no one's saying anything like, We knew, Eleanor, you terrible liar, you. Oh, so, uh, I've got an achievement, so are strife. Yeah, where to next? Oh, life. I think we're going to go on another high sea adventure. Oh, that'll be fun. It's like a little vacation. I like the missions that kind of feel like they're a vacation. But, I mean, it's not. Yeah. Morons. Some people didn't think... Well, no, as a villager, of course they wouldn't know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's not the reaction I was hoping for. Did they know? I don't know. Oh. Well, Lafayette, said, we can go back there next week. Hey, perfect timing. Cool. Unless you fucking cutscene good. You did not cutscene me over there. Oh, I'm shocked. You know what? We can be shocked next week. So I'm going to end this episode right here. This has been a Gator Snapper playthrough. See you guys in the next one where maybe at some point we'll figure out that everyone is going to tell Eleanor, like, you, you, we knew. We knew all along. You're bad at lying. Later, everybody.